Finnish singing superstar and good friend Yannicke Sonström reconnects with Daryl Craig Harris on Music Matters podcast, sharing lots of insights and some exciting updates on episode 10 of season two. How exactly uh, do you pronounce your name? Is it Yannicke? Is that, am I saying it correctly? Well, in, in my language, we say Yannicke. So Yannicke. yeah, you're okay. kind of, yeah, you're getting yeah, there. I, I did the, no, I did the I did the I'm gringo version. That. Okay. I did the gringo version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, in even here, my name is so, it's not a usual name. You know, people oh. are not called Yannike. So I get all kinds of, you know, versions Version. of my name. So I'm so used to it. And so I'm thinking, I think you actually did better than most. Yeah. And I, 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 so, so I've actually... Job. Thank you. I've been I've been actually to <laughs> Finland many times. I think maybe I don't even know, know. Like 15 times. And um and we met through mutual friends. And then since yeah. since then we did a very successful Facebook Live um basically yeah. from the from the forest that had over a hundred thousand views. Um we recently we released a song this summer, So Many People, So Many Stories, mm-hmm. which also did did really well. It's approaching a hundred thousand views on YouTube. And um so you have a really interesting story because you uh not only as a singer, but also as a teacher, producer, writer. Um, tell me, how did you get started with with the arts and singing and, and all that kind of stuff? Oh, wow. Okay, so we have to go way, way, way back. I know, so, it's a big story, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'll try to make it short, but I'm one of those kids, you know, my mom said I, I was singing before I could talk and uh, yeah. before I could walk and blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's true, I believe her. And um I was kind of a classical nerd as a two, three year old. I only wanted to dance to Bach and stuff like that, you know, classical <laughs> cool. music. Yeah. But anyway, my parents put me in like music school and stuff when I was like three and started playing the piano when I was taking lessons when I was five. And, you know, the whole, I did the whole violin lessons, orchestra, choir, music right. theory, all the music school stuff since I was basically three years old. And awesome. I, actually did that all through high school so music was like the biggest part of my life ever and um, but yeah it was more like classical you know you do scales and (laughs) stuff like that but also a lot of choir singing and I performed for the first time when I was three 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 wow I think yeah yeah, like for a bunch of grannies but you know it's a gig (laughs) hey granny grannies are great grannies grannies are a great audience too actually (laughs) they are loyal they are the best i love them i love them now and i love them then but um (laughs) yeah great start very friendly audience to start with um so yeah i've always been into music kind of been a been a music nerd um Mm. and i wasn't into sports i mean a little bit but not like like music but uh the closest thing to my heart was always like singing in my own way like uh i studied music in a classical way but i always sang in a pop way right, right. with the yeah. voice i was born with yeah because you actually um you went to uh, the sibelius academy which is a very prestigious school right. and i guess they would really be known for classical and, and that kind of thing yeah but at, but at the same time you're singing in pop bands you're doing that mm-hmm. kind of thing too how did when the, the sibelius school how was how was that for you well, I went to, it's like a music university, one of right. the most known ones in, in Europe. And um, yeah, I went there right after high school and it was um, quite a tough change because I was uh, pretty much used to always being the, the good one in music, you know, the one who could sing and always having the solos and everything. And suddenly right. I'm in a school where everyone everybody everybody's awesome yeah. <laughs> yeah. and i'm like okay you need to step it yeah. up but um you know it was no pressure it was so fun and it was also pop music and uh the greatest education ever so broad mm. you can do like choir stuff orchestra stuff or just teach in class like music class at regular schools right or give private lessons or like the education is is really great and you get a, a degree in master a master's degree so master mm. master of music they call it yeah, it's, very- it's interesting because finland <laughs> i mean it, it's a very a lot it, it's kind of a mysterious country to a lot of people like especially in the states and when i first originally went to finland which was like 1988 
I had to look it up oh. on the map. I would I had no idea where it was. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. But uh, what I what I learned going there is actually there's many amazing musicians, not only classical musicians, mm-hmm. which they're known yeah. for. There's also like the big metal scene that has mm-hmm. made its way around the world. Um, there's a, a a Berkeley affiliate, which is the Pop Jazz Academy there. Yeah. Um, which is, is amazing. Awesome. Yeah, amazing school. Mm-hmm. So like it's, the education there is really, really cool. Um, awesome. what, what was it like for you doing the pop band stuff there when you're you're studying classical uh, during the day and then you're doing the, the pop bands and you're singing background for a lot of Finnish stars? And mm-hmm. how, was, how was that experience? Like basically were the Sibelius people, were they like, did they frown upon that or did they like the idea? <laughs> Because sometimes if they don't like the classical people, don't necessarily like the pop. Yeah. Well, I could definitely sense like kind of a, you know, kind of group thing, like the classical people and the pop Mm -hmm. people. Right. But luckily, my class or my whole like program, the Master of Music program is very, uh, it's both classical and pop. So you learn how to, you know, do chords and stuff, not only like scales and stuff. So, um, but then... Yeah, of course, then you choose your own main main things you want to do. And my main thing was classical singing and classical piano, because I thought I would get more out of that education yeah. uh, than pop. That's what I thought then. Right, because uh, that, that, now that, I would choose otherwise. <laughs> and, and all that, I mean, really, like, as we know, as, as you get older and you're doing music, like, it all connects. And so eventually mm-hmm. it yeah. ends up connecting and you do a yeah. lot with, you also still do a lot with, with choirs and, yes. and you still have a real big passion for, for teaching, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I love, I have a, my, uh, after my own artist singing thing, my, uh, the next best thing is like uh, conducting uh, children's, not children's choirs. I like more young women, young adults. Choirs. Right. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, I like to develop their voices and uh, do my arrangements and see how they come alive and then yeah. you get to perform with them. And, you know, and there's a like lot that. of really so, interesting stuff with Finnish choir because you have the, like, I guess it would be called the shout choirs. There's a lot of really interesting <laughs> stuff that we don't, we're yeah. not necessarily familiar with here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are, are a lot of styles, different styles of choirs. And singing in a choir here, it's like the, greatest community ever like you you are such good friends and you travel when you are allowed to travel and you compete and you know it's such a lovely community and such a good you know spirit right uh, to have so it's very popular to sing in a choir so yeah yeah, now now everyone is angry because they can't do it obviously right yeah i know uh we've all had our definitely had our challenges this year with 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 all that stuff luckily it seems like we're kind of coming out of it um mm-hmm. at least here but i know you guys have been doing the lockdown again so that's a challenging yeah <laughs> well i know i mean finland has done pretty well our first lockdown was a year ago hmm. but i mean our lockdown is uh, that the schools closed and the restaurants have take take away food only and stuff like that it's not right. it's not like you can't leave your house yeah but then we did really well last summer we had like seven cases every every day like basically nothing and mm-hmm. thought it was over, but then in like December or something, the cases started to rise again. And now, now we have been two weeks in in a lockdown, mm-hmm. meaning that the schools are closed and the restaurants are closed. So let's see what the government will decide. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's the second wave, so we knew it was coming. So. Right. Yeah, and I mean, like you know, I, I, Finland's very progressive as far as not only I mean a lot mm-hmm. of ways too, especially with healthcare. Yeah. So. Um, yes, definitely. and I know it gets it's challenging, but <clears throat> what you've done and, and kind of what I've done too is we've kind of reinvented ourselves. You're doing the live stream yeah. stuff. You're doing, I know mm-hmm. Nicholas, um, your your partner, producing partner, um, it does a lot of lot of lot of great TV shows he's been doing with, yes. with artists, and we're going to talk about that also. Um, tell me about you transitioning into being the pop star. I know you have a history with Finnish Idol, which is sort of the the yeah. Finnish version of American Idol. Yeah. Um, how, how did that? start with you what was it idol was that the beginnings of that or well i mean kind of um that this was back in 2008 so it's a while ago and i didn't tell anyone i was doing the auditions i was battling with my mind like do i go do i not like and then i just kind of spontaneously decided to go on a saturday morning and then i got through and suddenly I wake up and I'm in the top 12 moving into a house and you know everything is 
yeah it everything happened so quickly and that's that's a huge huge show in finland right it's, it's yeah sort of, yeah uh, and uh, idol really idol was, and, and then, yeah idol and eurovision are like maybe the two mm-hmm. main yeah absolutely it was very popular and you kind of became famous overnight like everyone was watching back then mm. and but you know what um i remember waking up that like after this final weekend when we were like 200 and we became 12 it wasn't like during a weekend right um i woke up on that monday morning in the hotel room and i had this feeling in my heart like this is not right it's i'm not ready like i'm not Mm. supposed to do this but of course you know everything happens so quickly and they give you champagne and they like contract sign and blah, 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 you know, so you just go along with it because you're like, yeah, I mean, and, and it is a, so lucky. And it is right. Cause it is exciting. And then, and then yeah. and such a small, such a small country compared to many other places. Like when you're on TV doing yeah. t- literally everybody in the country is watching you. Right. So it's a big, yeah. it's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, and then, you know, they took it to, to the record company and you made, they made you feel really good. And I was like watching all the people around the table and really uh, like getting like, this is a TV show. There are different characters. She has right. red hair. I have blonde hair. Like it's, <laughs> it's a game, you know, it's not yeah. the best singers. It's a TV show. Right. As, like, it, as, it, as it is here too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thing. And I was like, oh, always, I always had that in my back mind and I was kind of skeptical all the time. And the others were like the other living in the house, the, uh, the ones I competed against who were my great friends. They were like, oh my God, this is great. Like, oh, we're going to, you know, these things are going to happen. I was like, oh, I don't know. so I remember yeah. when I always did the interviews in the TV and they were like trying to get the excitement out of me, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, because I had already done so much. So, and I knew right. how to work. So I was like, well, I don't know. I, did, I wasn't like, you yeah, know, because it's actually, it's a, mix, it's a mix of people that yeah. have never done that before. It's, and then maybe mm-hmm. they have a good voice and they do the audition. And then it's a mix of that plus professionals yeah. like you, you'd already gone through school or you're in school and you're doing, yeah. you're already, you're already, yeah. you're already gigging. Right. So, yeah. But, uh, and also they edited me <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they, they could, uh, okay. Short story. They came into the house and it was our first day off so I wasn't um, I wasn't barely dressed like no makeup nothing I was like I'm not gonna do anything today and then they came and it was also like uh, the previous day had been a cleaning day so they wanted to yeah. film us cleaning the house and they they came in the next day the day off and we were just like doing basically nothing playing tv games or just doing nothing and then they were like Yannick can you go into the bathroom and like do your makeup or do your hair or something? And I was like, well, I, was, I wasn't going to do that today because today off. And they were like, could you just do it so we can film it? Yeah. And I'm like, fine. So I you know, um, <laughs> have a hair okay. straightener. It's not even plugged in. I'm I, totally hate, I hate doing it. my hair. Like, I, I know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> and then those bastards, they edit that day, me fixing myself up while the other ones are cleaning so making it seem like I'm like <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> my makeup and hair while the other ones are cleaning yeah. and i was like thank you that yeah, made me look that. very good <laughs> that's funny <laughs> you know stuff like that you know right TV. Yeah. so but you know of course it affected the the voting and everything how they make you see you know, i mean it wasn't that bad but i mean now it's yeah. quite funny but uh, also it's tv yeah. the feeling yeah but also they're kind of playing with your life and your career. Like, I don't know. It's kind of sneaky, I think. Yeah. But it turned, I mean, the whole, my the point of this long story, not going that short, uh, was that uh, I didn't do, I mean, I didn't sing very well because I had, I always had that feeling like this is not right. And mm. why, if you're on stage, just waiting for those three minutes to be over, that's right. not right. Yeah, and people, So people... I didn't, yeah people pick up on that and then also like you said like you know it's 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 hard to if you're really an artist a real artist and not just Mm. singing because there's different people at different levels of what they want to do but when you're really an artist and that kind of stuff happens it kind of it 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 hurts your soul a little bit right and and it's hard to hide that (laughs) yeah and also like i mean again going back to the fact that it's a tv show the judges they have to give you you know they have to say something right and they have to give you criticism and and, you know like they are the ones who knows it all and you know uh 
mm-hmm. and they have to act at part also. So sure. I mean, but I, I am the first one to admit I did not do my best. I did not sing that good, and I was eventually voted out, which was a good thing because I was not ready to be in the public eye that you know that much. So I finished like in ninth place or something. So I yeah. got to do it a little bit and. I was a lot of blood in the tabloids for being paired with the one, the, the boy who actually ended up winning, you know? So I yeah. got a taste of like fame and tabloids and how you can never joke with journalists because they write everything, you know, you can't yeah. be sarcastic. <laughs> so I, I mean, actually, you know, in yeah, a way, a in a way tool. doing that show was actually kind of part of your education, right? You learned, you learned yeah. a lot of like, even what I don't want to yeah. do. And, mm-hmm. and how to deal with because exactly. dealing with the press, the press in Finland can be, well, like many places, can be a little brutal. There are the whole tabloid scenes yeah. there. Um, we yeah. have a lot of mutual friends that are very well known in Finland. And, and it's always like, I don't really think about it there. I'm just having fun. But they have to think about that yeah. when we're out in public and what we're doing. Um, mm-hmm. so, so you did the idol thing. And then what was the next step? Because I, I know you've actually become really popular in other parts of Europe, like Germany and, and that kind of thing. How did, how did that stuff happen after idol? And what was that? What was that journey? Well, okay. So after the, the show, I kind of, you know, wanted to <laughs> hide a little bit for a couple of years because, sure. you know, it kind of got me still, uh, even though I tried to not read the comments and stuff, you know, but it's still, and I was still in school and I wanted to finish school and stuff like that. So I kind of, um, you kind yeah, of I wanted back to hide bit. for a few years. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I did some gigs, of course, and I, I uh, definitely took everything I could from the fact that I was a known person in Finland for a while. Right. But um, yeah, and then I just kind of went, went into hiding. And then it took me like four years or something. And then I met Nicholas in at a music uh, thing, a big congress. Huh. Uh, and that was kind of my first own step to to like do something because I knew I wanted to release music. I wanted to be an artist. I just, just didn't know how. So right. I went to this music Congress thinking I'll get some contacts. I went there by myself and I knew no one. And I ended up knowing a lot of people and I met Nicholas and that was kind of the start of the whole artist thing for real, you know, right. Idol was just a, a little playground. <laughs> Um, a little preschool. Yeah. Hey, also, I'm going to stop you just first. I'm going to stop you just for a second. You have on the right side, you have some hair sticking up. So just, <laughs> oh and I just, yeah, I just noticed. So that's good. Yeah. Good. Keep okay. Do you okay. want me okay. to say something again? Uh, no, no. Latest sentence. So just pick up from the Congress. It's fine. Yeah. So I went to the Congress and met a lot of people and that started a whole artist thing for real. Hmm. So and yeah, so then we started working together with Nicholas. Yeah, so Nicholas, producer um, manager. Right. Yeah, Nicholas is a man of many talents. He um he's a TV producer. Um, I don't know if he was yeah. then, but he's a TV producer in Finland yeah. for mm-hmm. Wild Wild which is one of the main Finnish yeah. um, stations. He produces a, mostly music stuff. A really talented guy. Um, he mm-hmm. actually was. If people look up, they can find our our Facebook live that we did with you and he's playing piano yeah. and really great guy, yeah. like great energy. I love his TV shows. It's, it's, he yeah. goes into artist homes and does, and does interviews and they sing a song. It's, it's really awesome. So just, yeah. go ahead. sorry. <laughs> it's one of the people. That yeah. Are, so. yeah. Yeah. No, he's uh, very like, he does a lot of things. So yeah. he's really into music and producing and TV and musicals and everything. So yeah. I hope he will be on your yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna. Yeah, and we're also <laughs> he gonna can have talk Lonnie. about himself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna have lots of guests. So. Yeah, yeah. So we started to release music together, and actually, mm-hmm. we did the first songs in Swedish because that's my native language. Even though oh, I live okay. in Finland, I speak Swedish. Right. So, and that was, you know, fun kind of a experience, um, first tryout. And then we started to do everything in English, thinking bigger and more international. Right. And you know, it took us a few years to get the right songs and everything right. But then we started releasing the singles and 
we have never stopped since. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the so, yeah. uh, and that's actually a, the the Finnish Swedish English a story in Finland's interesting because mm -hmm. a lot of the people there are a lot of uh, S Swedish family backgrounds that people that live in Finland um, Swedish yeah. and Finnish and English really are the three main languages, I guess you would say. Yes. Um, is there a difference between singing in Swedish and Finnish? I mean, not besides just the language, is there a different approach or how do you, how does that, does it make a difference for you? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I would never sing in Finnish because that's my, like, I think of it as like my third language. You oh, know? Okay. It's like Swedish first. That's my right. native language, what I'm born with and how I think and everything. And then I actually feel more comfortable in, talking English well right. I mean I'm fluent in Finnish it's it's not a problem but it's not like my emotional language right yeah, yeah. And that's interesting so I because people Finnish. like you because like you say think you think in a certain language and that's and it's hard mm -hmm. it's, it's really hard to switch that and like yeah. everybody knows everybody knows ABBA a lot of people maybe they don't <laughs> know that ABBA when they when they were having their hits they didn't really speak English they primarily yeah, Swedish, so right? So they learned <laughs> yeah. the words, but they didn't necessarily know, yeah. what, you know, I mean, obviously they learned yeah. it later, but um, yeah. tell me, tell me the, uh, because it, your, your, your story with, with Germany is really interesting. And there's a whole connection with McDonald's and Burger King, which is, fun, <laughs> which I, I found out reading your bio, which I didn't know about. So tell yeah. me, like, tell me how you became really popular in Germany, because you're very well known there also. Uh, well, um, as you said, Finland is a small country and right now the music industry is very hard if you sing in English. They really just want to hear songs in their native language. Yeah, because um, they hear they hear artists, uh, other artists that are in English, but it's all the, yes. the Beyonce, it's the big artists. Right? Yes, so you're basically competing with Beyonce and Rihanna and all of those. And Finnish people are maybe like, yeah, I think they are thinking like, well, like, why should I listen to a Finnish artist singing in English when I can listen to Beyonce, you know? Right. Makes sense. I get it's hard. It. To, it's hard. It. It's challenging to compete, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, but if we go like 15 years back or something, it was quite popular to sing in English being a Finnish artist. Like, yeah, we had yeah. a lot of cool bands back yeah, then. Yeah, some, some of our mutual friends. To finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but I could never do that because no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then we just started to, to, and I've always loved Germany. I used to buy the like German pop magazines when I was uh, young. Yeah. And I used to watch like German music, television and stuff. So yeah, and Germany, so, for, like a lot of yeah. Americans may not realize, but Germany is actually one of the largest pop markets in the world for, for music. Yes. Not only pop, but rock. Great roll, like, music country. Yes. Yeah. And they are very loyal. Your audience, mm -hmm. once they notice you and like you, they stick with you. And yeah, so I, I just love Germany. I love it. Um, so yeah, we approached some people and you know made a deal and uh, that was the start of it all and the first label I had managed to get my singles and music videos into these screens that are shown in Burger King and McDonald's yeah. <laughs> like, which I mean it, so, yeah. it, it, I mean yeah. it, it, I know it sounds funny but actually that's a big deal I mean because, it is, because those, those are on rotation times. right they're on rotation yes. constantly yeah right? And I know, and uh, people actually, we don't have it in Finland. We don't, we don't have screens in my homes. Yeah. But I was, when I went to Berlin and I kind of went to Burger King wishing to see my own video, but, uh, you know, I didn't stay there that long. So I never <laughs> yeah. saw it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. I mean, I'm eating but, um, my burger. I'm like, where's my video? <laughs> <laughs> eating it so slow. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, people were actually, you know, you're just sitting there and just like watching and you eventually your eyes will, you know, you will watch TV. Oh, yeah. So it's great exposure. And yeah, so it was a big deal. Yeah. And it was shown many hundred thousands of times. So and awesome. uh, I mean, actually, every single and video we released with that mm. label did very well. How's uh, the music video? So we have a mutual friend, uh, Guge. Um, mm -hmm. I won't even try to say his last name because it's really challenging. <laughs> but he's a video director. Guge. Everybody knows Guge. Guge, yeah. yeah. So Guge um, is a is a really well known video director, not only in Finland but kind of in the world now, and um, and a musician. And you've done videos with him. Yes. Um, what what's the the video process for you? Because that's become a big part of your career. Um, mm -hmm. how, is that a comfort zone for you? Is it challenging? Uh, I love making videos. No, yeah. it's definitely my 
I, I love doing it. I remember I was so nervous in my first video. We went to Greece and I had mm -hmm. no idea what I was doing. But as you know, if you are like, you know, born a musician and artist, you know, that's what you want to do. Yeah. You kind and of that, and that's, part, that's part of the world, naturally. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I was because I had to, well, usually we do my lip syncs with the music being like double speed. So it's right. really fast. So I was, uh, I remember being very nervous about that part uh, yeah, in the beginning. You, and also like ex how explain, you explain that a little bit. Speed. You're right. Explain that process a little bit because people see the video, music videos, they're like, oh, that's cool. But they don't realize <laughs> oftentimes people are singing double speed because it gives a different yeah. kind of look. So when you're trying uh -huh. to shoot that, it's for, it's, as a singer, it's challenging not to be. It is. <laughs> yes. And, you know, because you have to look normal uh, you know how you look and how your expressions normally look right. and still do everything like blah, 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 like crazy <laughs> fast so right, i mean yeah. it is challenging and uh but it's fun it's so yeah. much fun and uh, i've always been very keen on always doing a music videos video for all of my singles right. you know kind of the old-fashioned way like i do not release only music yeah except on an album of course uh, but always the singles, they have to have a video. Yeah. So, and that's, you know, it's important because also you, obviously you have a great, you're a great look and it's sort of using all your attributes. I always say mm -hmm. like you're using, you have two hands, you know, you want to use all your attributes to, to further what you're doing releasing wise. So if yeah. you only release to radio and you don't do a video, a video or even like mm -hmm. a lyric video, which is also popular, um, yeah. you're kind of missing a whole part of your potential crowd and audience, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think people love watching videos. I mean, that's I think that's the first thing they do if you release them at the same time, the audio and the video. Yeah. And then if they like the song, then they add it to the play playlist on Spotify or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. And you and Nicholas, oh, yeah. um, you and Nicholas work really closely together on the songs. Are you? Uh, so I know you also are a songwriter. Are, do you focus on mm -hmm. lyrics and he does music? Or you got because you're also a great piano player. How, how does that process work for you? Uh, well, it kind of depends on the song, but no, we, we kind of both do both things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I always, maybe I start with the lyrics, you know, have an idea or something because it has right. to come from my perspective or nowadays I want it to, to be like that. In the beginning, I wasn't in on every song. I, the first couple of singles, I didn't write music or lyrics. <laughs> yeah. And it's a lot yeah, of pressure every... because the first couple mm -hmm. of singles can make or break your career, right? So the record, yeah. la record yeah. labels like it's got to be got to be right. Right. Yeah, because and I was comfortable with that. I wasn't like because I'm more I'm a singer first than a songwriter. You know, my passion right. is singing then song then songwriting. Right. I get and it. for some people it's the other way around. Like they just have to write and get it all out and yeah. you know. So uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on the song. We were just um, making some music today and, you know, just playing around with melodies in our little home studio here. And it depends, but we we do both. But I would say maybe Nicholas uh, does a little bit of music and I do a little bit more of the lyrics. Yeah, you know, yeah, to that sum makes it sense. Up. Yeah, as a singer, you kind of want to really be connected to the lyrics and the story yes, of the definitely. song. definitely. Um, yeah. So we did um, in the summertime, I guess it would have been, we did um, the single So Many People, So Many Stories, um, because yeah. we were all kind of like locked in and and, and uh, <laughs> trying to figure out how we were going to create and, and that kind of thing. So tell mm. me that story. And that, that song has done really well. It's made its way around the world. And we had a, a global cast of musicians and singers and, and all mm -hmm. that. So tell me how that came about. Well, COVID-19 happened. That was the main, main yeah. thing. <laughs> And I wasn't going to release any music that spring. Well, I, well, I was going to release an, a, whole, a whole album that, yeah. and it hasn't come out yet. Because right, because of, everything got put yeah. on hold. Yeah. yeah, yes. And I was going to come to to USA and have a few gigs with you and release right. my album from there. You know, everything just got... But yeah, we all we all had to we all had to we all had to kind of pivot and figure out like okay now mm -hmm. how, what are we gonna do and we still want you still want to yeah. be releasing stuff and 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 because you know, that's kind of what we do right we're creators yes um, yeah. so that idea came about and then actually also the song you guys wrote that together I'm not I don't, I don't yeah. yeah 
Yeah, that was us too. We wrote it together about the situation we were in and still, <laughs> we're still in that same situation. I know, yeah. Sadly, but then we were kind of more hopeful. Yeah, this will be over soon. Like, just be right. in there, people. We will shine again. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people in this. So that was kind of the story behind the song. Like, don't worry, guys. It'll be fine. Like, we'll yeah. make it through this soon. Yeah. Yeah, and the idea was to, since everyone was doing live streams from their homes and stuff, or you know, studios and stuff like that, we wanted to do to go with that. So we asked our music friends around the world to participate and play or sing their parts at home, and also film themselves while doing it. So, right. you know, we got sent files from you and from yeah. a lot of people around the world, and. Yeah, we had some. Um, that's, I mean, people people should check that out. It's on YouTube. Um, yeah, they can look for under your name. It's uh, Yannicke, or they can look for so many yeah. people, so many stories, and and yeah. I think now it's almost it's I think eighty almost ninety thousand views. And, okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still doing well. And I mean, the video is really like a lot of people were doing at the time were doing the kind of the compilation videos. Mm -hmm. but, but this one, we have thanks to Nicholas and, and the team. Like the, it's really unique. It's really cool the, the, way, the way it was all yeah. put together, you know. Well, uh, I think in Finland, we were one of the first who had, you know, the squares with yeah. everyone, yeah. you know, with the frames and stuff. So yeah. that was, yeah, and I actually edited a lot of it myself. That was kind of... Ah. Uh, because I, you know, all my gigs <laughs> were gone, so right. you know, I had more time. So I was like, I'm gonna try, try to yeah. do it a lot. Yeah, you guys did a great job on a great job on that. Yeah, it's it's really it's mm -hmm. fun, and we had some some great guys out of London too that did the yeah. arrangements. Yeah, so. got a lot of attention here, like in the the papers and yeah. stuff. And I think hopefully, yeah, we were kind of talking about that, doing some more, because that's such a great group of musicians and really yeah. like world-class, fun people. Oh, um, yes. So what, for you, like release-wise, so do you already have an album like ready to go or are you still working on your next album? How, how, where are you with that? Well, my next album is ready and has been ready for a while. We've mm. done some, you know, touch-ups now lately, but right. basically it's ready to go. Uh, but ob obviously you can't have a normal release concert or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, I I'm going to release it soonish this year, you know, right. this year, let's just say this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause <laughs> because, you want to be able, you, know, you want to be able to support the release, right? Yeah. But also I just, I want to get it out to the people now and, you know, and I want to also, because we have been working on these songs for a while now. So yeah. I mean, it's time to get them out and, also, this album is very, uh, it's a, you know, a pop album. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of, you know, after this album, I'm kind of thinking about or I am going to go into another direction music wise. After okay. this, to a kind of another style. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so, now, now, now so, I'm yeah, intrigued. So, <laughs> yeah, well, That's yeah, good. I don't know how much I can tell you, but you know, it, yeah. it, it's going to be different after this one. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I think, I mean, like you, you have so much potential and with your background, even with the choir background, like I actually have a friend of mine, I can't say too much about it, but he's working on Michael McDonald's record right now. Mm -hmm. And he played me some cuts and it's not what you would expect. It's like, there's some gospel choir stuff. It's really yeah. interesting. And like, you know, when you're surrounded with really talented people like Nicholas and the other people that you work with, you really, mm -hmm. you're, you're, the idea is can like be really unlimited it's just you just you have to figure out the direction and and what works with your career of course and all that stuff but yeah yeah, um, yeah with the style yeah it's exciting um what what's your advice to singers people that want to get into singing pop and 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 doing what you're doing music videos all that stuff um meet the right people meet people <laughs> and then eventually someone will be the right one who can help you yeah. I mean, you don't necessarily, you don't need a label these days. You can do pretty much everything with some, some help, of course, but still yeah. you can pay people to get it done for you. I mean, so I'll, yeah, you might need some money for it, but it's not impossible to do. Yeah. And then maybe, I mean, it's easy to say, but kind of know what you want. It took me a while to know what I want. Right. And I'm constantly changing, developing, you know, you're never ready. See artists like Taylor Swift, she changes her style all the time. Like the music style, it's pop, it's country, it's like yeah. folk, like <laughs> yeah, that's, you're that's also that's that. also yeah, it's yeah. the fun, it's part of the fun of what we do, it's right? So fun. Yeah. yeah. And also it kind of shows that you are that you can do a lot of different things. Sure. So I I don't wanna, you know, be put in a box like, okay, she does 
this style yeah all the time so i like to be versatile and do different kinds of things but you know yeah i mean uh and maybe another advice that i maybe mm, would give myself also <laughs> my younger self is to <laughs> yeah. you know feel it with the idol thing and everything like if it is if it's not if it doesn't feel right it's not gonna be right i mean and it's not it may be an obstacle and it maybe doesn't matter in the long run but you know trust your gut and your feeling yeah i think i mean that's you know as as we i don't say older but wiser i guess and once you get more experience you realize yeah yeah you know and, and everything everything is part of our story so mm-hmm. like you know and sometimes even though the most challenging situations like that where you may be feeling comfortable sometimes those are the biggest learning moments right yeah definitely it's yeah. a learning moment yeah, so mm-hmm. we all it's we all need those, but it's sometimes it's, yeah. sometimes it's a little challenging. <laughs> yeah, it can feel challenging at time. Yeah, when it's happening. But, yeah. yeah, how can people uh, how can people find you online? Well, uh, I only have two. I stick to Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> like, I can't do all the you know whatever. Yeah, there's so many. <laughs> whatever but... it's called these days. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, well, I'm always called Yannicka Official. Okay. In on and my website is also yannickofficial.com. So and mm. you know I have all my music videos and everything on my on my website. But I know I'm online all the time. So yeah. How do you how do you pronounce <laughs> your last name? Instagram. How do you pronounce your last uh, name? Sundstrom. Sundstrom. Okay, that's not actually because <laughs> you know like we see that we see the little the little characters that we're not used to here, and it's always yeah. like I'm not sure how to I'm not sure how to say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, so uh, Yannick, you know, I, Yannick is, is uh, easier for me <laughs> to say it's safer. <laughs> yeah. And they know I'm lucky because my name is so unusual here. I can yeah. use only my first name as my artist name yeah, because yeah, right. no one is called that. So yeah. it's like kind of, you know, Beyonce, everybody, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's like Madonna. Like Beyonce <laughs> here, but you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I don't need my last name. Right. Yeah. Because my first name is so... Cool. Yeah. yeah 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 and that's and that's your and that's your brand and which is important and you've yeah. worked hard you've worked hard to develop that over the years um thank you so much for joining us i you know we can actually thank there's you. so much there's so much we can talk about and we're actually going to have um one of the things we're going to do is talk about future projects here in a moment but um off camera but um there's yeah. so much uh, <laughs> yeah there's so much coming up and and it's, and it's actually going to be once we get past the challenges we've had i think it's going to be really cha- it's going to be really um fun i think there's going to be an explosion mm-hmm. of live music which is exciting Hopefully. yeah i think so but um thank you so much for joining me and uh thank you awesome and then we it's maybe so next fun. yeah and when we get your record release uh maybe we'll do a new one and talk about that yeah I have some big stuff coming up. I have a do it with a legend. I have so much fun. And uh, my release concert, it's it's gonna be epic. It's from a place you would never get. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll find out. I'll get the details, but I won't I won't share. <laughs> I'll tell you. Okay. All right. <laughs> After thank, you. Thank you recording. so much. Have have thank a you, thank you. Have an awesome day in Finland. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Ciao. Bye. <laughs>